Hello, welcome to Mediums. We are back after a long Thanksgiving break, spent hugging our loved ones, contemplating our blessings, and running around museums. I've had a lot of time to think about the ways the forces in the air are shifting and affecting our lives. When I was visiting my family in Connecticut this week, I went to the Natural History Museum with my little brother and saw these huge dinosaurs that are like 30 times the size of any of us. And I was brought to tears at the fact that such large beings once graced our soil. I really do miss them. I'm your host, Tall, and you're listening to Mediums. The song I picked out for this week is Changing Horses in Midstream by Kath Bloom. I love this song because she speaks and sings with exasperation and pleads with the person that is just putting up walls for themselves. She says, when have you ever taken the blame, cutting up the sunrise and leaving upstate? This is Changing Horses in Midstream by Kath Bloom. Enjoy. If you really work it, you can come out on top. But in the deepest night, you know it never stops boring in on the edges of your dream boring you and how the blade is what 
my first song, I chose a song that gives me such intense energy, makes me want to thrash my head, bounce off my walls, find my keys and go cruising under the constellations while I drive down farm to market roads, reliving nostalgic memories, matching mystic signs, singing at the top of my lungs, alive again, gaining perspective on the past situations, being content with where my life has shaken out. So if you are having a bad day, I challenge you to listen to our first song, Change by Antonio Williams and Carrie McCoy. Enjoy. song has been played by me numerous times and every time it plays it just makes me feel and I feel like the universe spins a little slower I start humming and breathing a little easier I love the soft energy of the instrumentation and heavy dose of effects on the vocals which really bring out the emotion of the artist who tells this introspective personal story that just always pulls me in 
puts me to the singer's life. And his is mine. Please enjoy Lamb Chop. No, I'm not. 
Liz Brazier uh, at Jam in the Van, and this is Blood of the Lamb. <laughs> Reflection, self growth. I challenge myself to write the goals of this month, December, on a sticky note and place it on my mirror that I could look at every day and every day write a two minute recap of my day. I've been listening to my favorite song of the week to make it easier to think. Here's my report of my day today. I've been thinking about December a lot as it is the last month of the year. It is good to reflect on the past 11 months. Uh, and see what you did right and what you need to improve on. There are only lessons to learn, and whatever barriers you're putting up, you need to be taking them down. For me, I've been working on three my self esteem, my physical health, and my willpower. I started December off in high spirits, going to PT, flying with colors. I wrote my map to finish school, what's left, you know, what's due, graduation plans. For my self esteem, I've been more thoughtful reminding myself the last song for the evening is um, by Lala and Bass it's called heaven Um, I hope to one day reach a level of enlightenment in this life to feel like heaven and this song helps me feel that I heard it from a mixtape from someone I follow on Instagram it's a great mixtape I really it really opened my eyes to the style of music and I went on a tangent of like 60 songs just trying to find a song even close to this one I couldn't keyboard and the harps are mesmerizing the vocals are sweet and steady just a perfect delivery it really gets you to, to sing the lyrics with it the whole song is just infectious and filled with great moments it makes you really feel whole and endless hope it does for you one day sooner later i'll be undercover one day sooner Mistakes, patterns written, look like from a distance, man. 
Enjoy the final days of 2020 as 2021 is soon. It feels weird saying that. To think my quarter century birthday is in just about a hundred days is insane to me. A friend of mine mentioned to me that six months goes by really slow. And after looking into my journal when I started writing my daily tasks, it says June 11th, which doesn't really feel like five months ago. But if you do the right things, and then time will go by quickly. And time really flies by when you're having fun. So be thoughtful, be thought-provoking, and be you.